hi guys uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the keel software uh, once you have downloaded and installed the uh, keel software you will see an icon like this uh, keel mu vision 5 so using this software you can uh, run program simulate programs uh, for 808 uh, 8051 microcontroller or various different microcontrollers as per your choice so whenever you open this software the software looks like this uh, so here we have various options so let's start with how to create a new project so here in this project menu you can go here and create a new mu vision project so select this option new mu vision project and once you have selected this new mu vision project let's uh, Mm, let's go to the previous folder and make a new project let's make a project mm, project 2 right and then let's make the files inside this project uh, let's make a demo project just to make you guys understand how to use this software so I've given the name as demo and saved it now once you save this uh, it directly shows uh, which processor or which uh, which controller you want to use for simulating this uh, project so here there are various companies various manufacturers uh, for 8051 there is atmel uh, in atmel also you can get your 8051 or you can just type your intel if you type intel you will get intel directly there is a search button uh, there is a search option where you can directly type intel when you open this intel you can see the various microcontrollers over here uh, the description is there on the right of each microcontroller so let's go with 8051 microcontroller it's a 8-bit microcontroller with 32 io lines two timers counters five interrupts two priority levels 4 kilobyte uh, internal ROM and 128 byte of on chip RAM. So let's choose this microcontroller for uh, simulating our project because we'll be writing the assembly language for uh, 8051 microcontroller, right? So click OK. Now there will be an op there will be a question that copy startup dot a51 to project folder. Uh, whether you want to copy this file or not so this is basically for uh, this is basically for if you are writing your program in C you will require this file but since we are going to write the program in assembly language we don't require this file so we will give the option no now there is a target folder that has been uh, created over here you can see all the things over here uh, so in this there's a source group source group one and now let's create a new uh, file so for creating a new file you can go here there is an option new or you can directly come over here uh, you can directly click this button this button also gives uh, the option for creating a new document so it's your choice so by clicking a new file is uh, being created right now now here you can write your code so here when writing codes on this muvision software you'll have to use a few directives which uh, are very simple directives like org org is for origin where do you want to start writing a program from that is what org means so i'll give 000 h which is the starting address uh, the first memory location then let's write a very simple program to add two numbers or uh, yeah let's write a program for adding two numbers so let me just move uh, let me just move some data into the registers move r2 comma hash 67 h move a comma hash 32 h 
hash represents that we are giving our immediate data and we are giving this immediate data into these registers so i have taken two datas mm -hmm. one into r2 uh, 67h and another data into a 32h so i'll uh, mm, add these two datas so i'll give the instruction add add a comma r2 and then that's it and then i'll use an another directive the directive i'm using is end which is basically for ending the program that's it now once i've written this program i can save this program so it directly goes into the uh, folder project 2 now here when i'm saving this program i'll save it as uh, let me give a name sum now one thing you have to remember is that you need to specify the extension of this file now since you have written this program as an assembly language program you will have to give the extension dot asm so when i write the file name i will give it as sum dot asm which where the dot asm is the extension of the file so i will save it as dot asm now the colors have changed uh, all the mnemonics are in the blue the datas or the values are in the red the uh, registers are in the green so that's how it changes once you give the name as some uh, some dot asm once you save it as a dot asm file all the colors give you uh, represent each and everything so now the source group still doesn't have the file which we have created so we need to add this file into the source group either you can double click on this folder or just right click and then give add existing files to group uh, source group 1 so this option you can take add existing files to source group 1 now once you have taken this option uh, you can go here and uh, project 2 the folder same yeah you have to change the uh, type of the file since we have uh, stored the file as a dot asm file you need to search for a dot asm file so if you select asm source file then your sum file will show up so you can select this and then you can add it so once you have added this uh, source file you can close it so um, here you can see the file has been added to this uh, source group now once you have added this file you need to translate every time when you do the program for the first time or when you write the program for the first time uh, for, a, for a new project you will have to translate it there is this option this icon over here on the left corner translate so click this option now on the uh, bottom screen it shows the number of errors or number of warnings now once you have seen that there are no warnings and no errors you can go and build and then you can give uh, this is the second uh, second icon here build f7 is a, another option to use and then you can give the uh, you can click this third icon which is rebuild so once you have done these three things translate build and rebuild now you can start with the debug session now for debugging you can either go here and start or stop debug session or you can use this icon over here start or stop debug once you have clicked this icon it will give a message evaluation mode running with code size limit of 2k that's okay so now the debugging has started now here every uh, there is a reset button so like uh, you can start the entire running process with this button with this button it will completely run from the top to the bottom you can there is a stop code execution button uh, icon over here and then there is a step by step execution so we will be preferring step by step execution so that with each step we can see what are the different operations that are happening and what are the values that are changing in this section we can see all the registers over here and we can analyze the data over here so let's go with the uh, step by step execution so first 
when I click this uh, button this icon it goes to the third line which means that it has already executed the second uh, uh, second instruction which is R2 has been updated with 67 H then the currently the program counter is at move a comma hash 32 if I click it once again what happens this instruction also get executed a gets the value 32 and R2 is still at 67 now again with the next uh, execution what happens the A is added with R2 and the result is stored back in A so I get the result as uh, 99 which is 32 plus 67 and that ends my program so this now uh, the link to this software uh, to download the software I'll, put, I'll be putting it in the description section and uh, you can use the software for analyzing your programs and uh, doing your projects thank you thank you for listening to this uh, video have a nice day